What's up guys, Clue Your Hacker here, and today I'm going to be talking about speed, and how you can get really bad speeds from certain ISPs, <clears throat> cocks. Uh, basically, speed is very important when you're surfing the internet, and you need to know how much, how fast your speed is going. Now, a lot of people make this mistake, it's kind of funny. Um, I did that first too, so don't feel bad, but basically I thought the MBPS stood for megabytes for a second, and let's clarify it. It's megabits. There's a big, big difference between megabits and megabytes. Okay, there are 8 bits and a byte. So even though it says you're getting, I don't know, 3 megabits a second, you're not getting 3 megabytes a second. In fact, you're getting less, you're getting kilobytes in that case. So you got to make sure you know this. It's not megabytes a second, it's megabits, just to clarify this. Now, certain places give you a certain amount of megabits per second, and they'll be very clear on this. Cox, for example, they'll say at least you, you get at least 20 megabits per second on average, which is what I get normally. However, sometimes they feel like throttling me for some God only knows reason. I don't torrent, I don't do anything like that, but they throttle it. And just so you know, they do throttle peer to peer. So if you're doing torrents, even completely legitimate torrents, which there are plenty of them out there, they give you access to free books, legal music, legal videos and legal operating systems such as Ubuntu, they still throttle, which throttling means they basically take your speed and go like this. They're not exactly fair about this. So a way to tell what how your speed is going is basically to go to a website, and I'm going to show you this website right now. So I'm going to launch this up here. So basically you want to go to speedtest.net, not .met, speedtest.net and basically it's a cool little speed tester here and it'll tell you how fast it pings it pinging means basically it checks your internet connection to see how fast it, get a it gets a response from a reply and we will see how spat eh, excuse me we will see how fast our ISP is so I'm just gonna go here as you can see my and yes, I'm giving you my local Cox IP address. Look it up. So normally, on average, I should get about 20. Well, these guys are really, for some reason, I'm only getting about 13 to 15. It's very nice when I get 15. Now, I normally get 20 or 21, but today it's being really slow. And you need to know this, megabits per second, 14.85 megabits per second. Now, that's your download speed when you download a file. If you don't know what downloading is, it's basically when you save a file from the Internet or when you load an image, like this one here. Now the thing to note is your upload speed is when you're uploading to a website. For example, when I upload my videos to YouTube, I only get 7.63 megabits per second. That's horrible, but it gets the job done. Now, on the other hand, I'm curious to hear your speeds. If you are on DSL, which is Digital Subscriber Line, just to get the terms out of here, you need to know your speed because you're probably getting a lot less than this. Chances are you're getting about 3 megabits per second, which is pathetic, but on the other hand, it saves you time and money. Now, also, what's nice about this whole speed test service is the fact that they have it for iPhones or droids, or I mean Androids, I should say. You can get this app on your phone, and basically I'll link towards it, but you can just go in the Apple Store and go to it. Now, you can also basically test out your 3G speeds, that's why they give you this. If you're on Wi-Fi, it'll test out your Wi-Fi. If you're on 3G or 4G, for that matter, it'll, te it'll test out your uh, 4G's connections. Now, I had one bad day, actually two bad days with Cox, where I was getting literally probably one megabit a second. Okay, my phone, I did a speed test on, is three to four megabits a second, and this is 3G speeds. So, why Cox, which is a cable company, has had problems, I don't know, but I'm not exactly a fan of them, just so you know. So if you spread the word and have cocks and don't like it, definitely give a thumbs up to this video because I'm not exactly too much of a fan. However, if you appreciate their services, also give a thumb up. I mean, when it works, it works, I will say that, but I'm just, overall, I'm not a huge fan of Cox Communications, your friend in the digital age. But anyways, guys, as you can see, this website will help you pretty much determine your speed it won't be perfect, but it gives you a 
basically a relative answer to how fast your connection is and it compares it to other servers now also here's the thing if you're getting really fast speeds like for example I work at a school and we're talking a hundred megabits per second it's blazing it's more than five times as fast as my computer then you want to maybe set this up as a server so you can compare it to other computers and it'll just be another nice thing to have this is a really good website in my opinion probably one of the best out there and if you don't know about it already I'll include a link to this but that's pretty much it guys I want to tell you how to test out your speeds on your networking and to know how fast your internet service provider or ISP is so that's pretty much it guys definitely comment rate and follow me on Google Plus and give me an email if you are interested in doing something with me as far as tech related stuff goes so like I said the comments below but my email is cloutierhacker at gmail.com or cloutierhacker whatever way you want to pronounce it or if you want to basically follow me on google plus it's going to be joshua cloutier c-l-o-u-t-i-e-r and you can find out about my page there so that's pretty much it guys thank you guys for watching techmas your source for tech